Level up your listening with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds and Headphones with immersive sound and world class noise cancellation for a not so silent night. Visit Bose.com slash Spotify to shop sound that's more than a present. Moss Bus Show. I can't remember the last time I did an episode during the day. I don't even know when I'll, I'll probably upload this um, episode later on tonight. Um, if I remember to, yeah, I, I, okay, yeah, hopefully I don't like rig down, record a second episode. And I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't even upload the other episode. But anyways, um, yeah, freaking season 20. That's crazy. It, it's just crazy. Like yesterday when I was like scrolling through trying to see if I did that, uh, adidas versus nike episode prior before like i man it's just it's crazy to see how many seasons and episodes i've done already but anyways um more of a serious subject today and i guess like people might have seen in recent news that a cop was um attacked and killed i think they said over in new york and yeah it was like it was it's it's messed up it's messed up like Cause that's how I always see it when these cops like randomly get killed. It's always like, and I mean, no cop should get killed. Like, and I know people think I'm crazy because they're like, well, we, um, even the bad ones. No, those cops, the bad ones, they deserve to be rotten in prison, like for the rest of their lives. Not, not even getting that satisfaction or that opportunity of it being ended early. No, cops, like the cops that like have everybody upset those are the ones that need to be in prison for the rest of their lives like that's that's what i feel like their fate needs to be but anyways like no it's just messed up that it's always like the cops that's not even doing anything like they're actually like against all of this like um like uh, abusive cop power and all that stuff like they don't do anything to anybody and then all of a sudden like they end up getting killed out of the blue like and i the thing is, it's like, I've always, like, heard and, like, seen, like, situations like that. I remember when I was a kid, he was, I think he was a sheriff or something. He got shot and killed right up the street from where I live. And I'm like, and then it's like, you sit back and think about it. You're just all like, as a kid, you're like, a cop got killed. But as you get older, then you start to, like, analyze that stuff and be like, a random, like, it was just like, it's messed up. That's like, people are doing this because they want to prove a point. Where they're all like, oh, I'm mad at how cops be treating people. But it's like, people need to realize that not all cops are like this. And that's even for cops, too. Like, the ones that you feel threatened by, the ones that you are scared of, not everybody is like that. So, like, that's all I'm like, yeah, it's, it, there needs to be a point in time where we can reach, uh, like, a point in our lives where it's like, both parties are just, like, you know, neutral like not like crazy or have to like shoot and kill people and stuff but just a neutral lifestyle and things and that's why they got like um to it's i think it's been trending all day um blue lives matter and i don't have a problem with that trend but i know there's other people that do and that's my thing with that trend it's like you gotta understand like where that trend originated from it all started with black lives mattering and me, my thing is, it's like, look, nobody deserves to lose their life, like, in any situation, regardless and stuff. Like, that's why I'm like, if you are out here living wrong, then yeah, you deserve to sit down and suffer. You deserve to sit down and think about all the mistakes and all the things that you did in life. But I'm not that person where I'm like, I, I do agree with Black Lives Matter. I agree with that 100%, but that's not something where I'm like... I got to go out my way every single day and support it because there's going to be other times where like just in just recent, like the recent three, four years, all the Hispanic people that got locked off up in these cages and buildings and stuff sitting in there waiting to die and things like it's stuff where it's like you guys see that Hispanic people, their lives matter too. Um, the Chinese people in this um, coronavirus, Chinese people, their lives matter too. My thing is, and I just like, and it's no disrespect to these trends. I'm not trying to be disrespectful at all. As I see, and I think I talked about this in a YouTube video a long time ago, but like, I don't know, cause I know everybody's gonna be mad like, oh, how dare you say all lives matter and stuff. They do in a way, they do. 
And I'm not that per- I'm not going to be that person where it's like I go I go against my word or like and there's times like and don't get me wrong like I'm going to support these like lives like mattering and stuff but at the end of the day everybody in this world they're going to suffer from something. They're going to suffer from something and you just see like all this stuff that's just going on in the world. It's like you can't just single your race out and then just ignore all the other races because your race is more important. That's not life, bro. Like that's I'm like that's not how people need to live. Like you need to like yeah, live for yourselves, but also you gotta be there for others around you. And it's like I know you're gonna be all like, well, nobody ain't never did anything for me. That's how it is for a lot of people. There's people that have been born into this world with nothing to their name, no family, friends, nothing. But you know what? They went into this world helping people. They went into this world being there for people. And I know it's like, I don't know exactly who that person is, but every form of a person has existed at one point in time in the just world history. That's why I'm all like, when I, so when I, people are like trying to single out other races and other groups and other people and stuff, it's like, can't do anything like that. You gotta be like that. You just gotta be that person when you just gotta be there for others. So that's why I'm like, when I, when I see like blue lives matter, black lives matter, um, if it ever, if I ever do see that, I'm like, man, <laughs> there's, uh, <laughs> there's some people out there, you expecting some hate, but if I ever see white lives matter, y'all gotta understand, like, it's more than that. It's far more than that. There's more than that just to life. So that's why I'm like, I right, you guys got to, uh, like, you got to, like, look at the bigger picture here and stuff. And there's a lot more to that. Like, because it's like, you got, you have to see it as an idea where it's like, it, yeah, it's going to, this idea is going to start off small. And it's just like, the, I don't know, I don't know how they're, like, really put it in the terms and stuff, like, um, like this idea, like Black Lives Matter and stuff, but to I guess like giving an example, like I'm not trying to compare it to this, but think of it as like a TV. And I remember like how TVs, how small they started and stuff, and how everybody was just like with this TV, but there's so many different forms and different types of TVs out there that how am I like how can I play like place this in words? Like there's more to it than just it being the TV. If y'all understand what I'm saying and stuff, like if if it's much more simpler for you guys, like the idea can go above and beyond more than it being a 4K TV. Because what we had what 480p TVs like years ago, and then it upgraded to 720, and then it upgraded to 1080, and now it's 4K, and then they just came out with 18K, and I think they're working on, or 18 or 8K, and I think, yeah, they're gonna work on somewhere it's like 16 or 18K. It's like the idea is not supposed to just stop right there. And that's what it's like with Black Lives Matter. It's not the idea of that is not supposed to just stop where it's like, oh, we um, riot or well, not riot, but um, protest and, uh, you know, just do the same old, same old every time when something happens. Like, no, the idea has to be bigger and better than what it already is. So that's why I'm like, I don't know, like it, it's it's a good trend. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like that there could be a lot more to it. There has to be a lot more to it. It has to just be like, because I felt like that the doors just kind of opened for that trend. And this is something that wasn't like really being talked about before up until like what, 2012 or 14 or something. I think it was like um, 2014. Because that's, yeah, I think the trend got started when that um, uh, Michael Brown, I think that was, that was the uh, kid's name. His name was uh, Michael Brown. And I think the trend started when he passed. And, um, yeah, it's just, like, it's, it's, it has to be, like, bigger than that. Like, it has to be more to it than it just being that one trend and, th- and things. But my thoughts on Blue Lives Matter, um, you know, like, I guess, yeah, it matters when it's, like, when it's these random cops just randomly getting shot and killed. And it's, like, and it's just messed up where it's, like, you don't hear anything like bad about them. Like I've seen so many cases and stories of, excuse me, of cops getting killed. And I'm like, man, people have like these hatred towards cops, but it's like, you guys are hating the wrong cops. Like that's why I'm like, there's so many times where I've seen cops. We've like gave each other the head nod, you know, like we've overall been like cool with each other. There's nothing been bad between us. 
And I know people are all like, oh, you just haven't came across the right cop yet or the wrong cop yet and stuff. And I'm hoping that that date never happens. But that's what I'm saying. Like, not all cops are bad. So people going out of their way to shoot and kill cops and things. There's And then you on this, like, worldwide, like, manhunt and stuff. Everybody's, like, trying to, like, find out who you are, where you at. And you got to, like, worry about, like, not um, being seen and all this. Because there is there is the one story, and that was probably the craziest, like, cop shooting. And it was, like, a back-to-back -back shootings and stuff of these, of, like, cops. But I had to say, I think all in total, I think it was, like, five or six cops that, I think it was five cops that got killed. But anyways, um, the first story, I think it was, like, Halloween or something when I was in middle school. And I think there was like this cop was just sitting in his car and I think he I think he was shot and killed. I think they was like saying that that cop, he got shot and killed. I don't know if another cop was with him or somebody. I, I, I think he did get killed, but I'm not like, it's just, why? Like, it's just so unnecessary. And I think they said that guy, he ended up, I think he ended up being found and I think he's paralyzed. And I think he's, yeah, I think he is serving, a, he either got the death penalty or is serving a life sentence in prison, but... Yeah, I'm like, it's, you want, do you want to live that life? Like, do you want to, I mean, yeah, if you, if there, if you don't like cops, don't like cops. I'm not saying like it, because I don't know what part of the world you grew up in. I'm not saying that you have to like stop hating cops today. If you don't like cops, that's, that's you. That's all on you. But to go out of your way and kill a cop, then that's just taking it too far. That That's just taking it too far. And I know, and I know if it's like, if there is, if you were in a situation where like a cop had killed somebody that you cared about, like it was a family member or if it was a friend, somebody, you have to be the bigger person. You have to be the bigger person. You can't be that person where you're all like, oh, I got to get revenge. I got to avenge my brothers, my sisters, all this stuff. No, you have to be the bigger person. And that's where it's like, and what I mean by that, you can't stoop down to that cop's level. Because yeah, we all know that that cop... It, and especially if there was even nothing like, uh, there was like multiple ways the situation could have been handled. Like the one situation with the um, the girl, she was in her house, I think asleep or something. And I think she was moving around and the cop shot and killed her through the window. It's stuff like that where I'm like, yeah, that cop, he doesn't need to be a cop. He needs to be like mall security or something. He needs to just be walking around with a club and a flashlight and a whistle. Pepper spray, maybe, but he might mess around and misuse that too. But he doesn't need to be a cop, all right? Uh, or the other situations where it was like men was um the one guy he got um strangled by a cop. He go was like yeah I think there's like I can't remember when that happened, but it was like another one of those like big like cop killer stories and stuff where I think he was I think that happened in New York too. He was um and he was saying like saying like he can't breathe, he can't breathe, and the cops are just not listening to him like. When did it require you to put a person in the chokehold to, uh, like, restrain them and things? One would think, okay, like, let's go for the arms. All right, if they break their arm, they break their arm. That's on them if they want to, like, resist and all that stuff. But to strangle him, like, bro, this ain't no UFC fight. This ain't, like, I'm not trying to crack jokes or anything, but I'm, like, I'm saying, like, there's just no reason for that. And then it was, uh, it's, like, so many stories where you hear, like, a group of cops be trying to handle like one person and things and then there's that one cop they even made a movie about that and it was uh um fruitville station i think or something like that and i'm like i seen the real footage and i seen the uh movie version regardless there was enough cops to handle that one guy you mean to tell me not all of you guys can take his arm like if his arm breaks his arm breaks he's still going to be alive at the end of the day the man's just gonna have a broken arm okay but like one of the cops like for those that don't really know the situation so i think what fruitville station because it was based on the true story so i think what had happened was a fight had broke um broke out all the guys was like sitting across the uh this wall and the cops was like kind of like just they were like overall like being like rude and i think one of the cops said something racist to the guys and um, one of the guys had stood up and he was like taking a stand and, you know, he wanted to be the bigger person and like just show he wasn't scared. So cops had wrestled him down to the floor. Um, more cops came in. They were all wrestling him down to the floor and things. And then one cop pulled the gun out and shot him. And I don't even think they gave him like medical attention right then and there and stuff. See, that's why I'm like, 
if you're going to be hesitant about giving a person like medical attention, then you shouldn't be pulling out your gun, shooting them if we're in like for any reason. I've even heard stories where they've tasered like old men. Now I'm thinking in my head like a old man. I can understand maybe a younger guy, but an old man, you can't restrain or you can't get a hold of an old man. That's why I'm like, yeah, you should not be, if that if you're that quick to pull a gun out, a taser out on people that don't even deserve it, like there's multiple cops there. If you need to pull your gun out for that, for a one person, and there's like seven of you guys, you don't need to be a cop. You do not, you don't need to be a cop at all. And I know that people are going to try to, oh, well, blue lives matter. They matter to a certain extent. But once when they just, uh, then that's when that abusing their power, when that comes into place, yeah, you don't need to be a cop. Security the most. But you don't, you don't need to be a cop. Because I feel like, so there, yeah, there's definitely some cops out there. They let, they'll let that power and stuff get to their head, but they don't need to be cops. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, um, he ended up, um, Get him dying and things, and then yeah, there was uh, it was just messed up. And I think, yeah, it was um, this movie called Fruitville Station, it was starring uh, Michael B. Jordan. Um, not the basketball player, but it was an actor named Michael B. Jordan. But yeah, it was um, it was I, I just remember, I think I had seen that the ending to that movie, and then I had seen the real they uh, somewhere I had seen the real footage. They didn't show him, like, you couldn't really see him get shot, but you can see, like, all the cops stand up and start, sta like, standing over him and things. And so, I think they did eventually get him medical attention, but it was too late. Like, they had already shot, or he was already dead, I think. But, yeah, I'm like, it's just, like, it's like some cops out there, it's like, they just don't need to, like, they, they just, I don't know, I, like, they definitely need to, like, reevaluate situations where it's, like, if there's a man, like, and I don't know, they, I don't know whether they'll do that in, like, the academy that they gotta go to, or the school that they gotta go to, where it's, like, and they need to, like, set somebody up for that, like, they need to set somebody up, like, have it where it's, like, okay, you guys gotta take down this person, and if it, re like, and if they, if they got a gun, okay, then that's when you have to pull your gun out. Do you see them reaching for a gun that they have? Then okay, then that's when you pull your gun out. But it's like, if they don't have no weapon, like, at least check that to make sure. But if you got their arms in lock and stuff, then it's like, why why, why pull out a gun? What What's the reason of pulling out a gun? Like, that's what I'm saying. And it's like, then with the old man, then I was like, um, let's not forget about me talking about that. The old man getting tasered. A old man. I think they were saying that he might have been like 50, 60 years old. Overall, they tasered him. Like, I think it, it was a little bit too much for him. And I think they say he ended up dying from it and stuff. And so, I'm like, I just hear and see situations like that. And I'm like, man, that's why it's like cops. They, if it's like, you, they need to stop hiring cops that's like 150 pounds. And they going up against guys like the same side. No, they need to be hiring some wwe wrestlers or if anything's if they um if it's like if it's gonna come down to them can't handle a teenager can't handle a old man any of that stuff i'm like yeah y'all need to um hand or hire somebody that can handle a job like that because that's what i'm like if you guys can't then i'm sorry and it's like y'all don't need to be cops and stuff but anyways um what what was i originally yeah i was originally talking about um situation it was like getting yeah, um in washington and stuff because it was a one cop that got shot and uh like he was like in a parked car but then there was another situation where uh these four cops they were in this uh i don't think it was a tully's i think it was like some coffee shop it was like pretty much close to being the next starbucks and things but anyways they were in this coffee shop and uh this guy walked in there killed the cops and then he was just on this like like just he was on this manhunt i think they was like he was trying to escape or he did escape he did escape from when he shot the four cops but uh i think there was like a cop had drove up on him and was like hey where are you heading just questioning him and things i think it was like he reached for a gun and the cops shot and killed them and stuff so that's why i'm like for both situations okay like for like both situations like yeah for a guy to do something like that to cops yeah, deserves to be in prison for the rest of his life. And same for the um, cops, too. They deserve to be in prison for the rest of their lives. If they're going to go out, take out kids. I heard situation, yeah, and they took out, like, taking out kids and stuff. 
Um, and I'm like, man, it's just a, a kid. Like, you mean it's, it's like, and then that's another thing. If you can't handle a kid, like, really? Come on now. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's just weird sometimes seeing, like, how, like, seeing these cop videos and stuff. Like, I just seen one. I don't even really know the situation behind that. That's something where it's like, yeah, I don't really know. But I think, I don't know whether they were saying the girl didn't pay or they just didn't overall, like, they were just questioning her and she wasn't being, co um, like, cooperative and things. But, yeah, the cop was, like, pushing her, like, out of this, like, subway station and things and pushed her all the way outside. And I'm like, that's... All right, like, I don't know what the situation is. Like, I, I don't think, like, pushing them is necessarily, like, a way of handling it. Like, I don't know. My, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think... Because I feel like just pushing, pushing the person is just showing, like, an aggressive... Because if that girl would have swung on her, then that cop would have had to a whole nother situation that she had to deal with. So maybe just, like, kind of, like, just blocking her out of the way and, like, just, like, like I'm not going to touch you, but you can't come past here. Like, you're going to have to call somebody. You're going to have to pay, do something to uh like reach past this point like not pay me but like if she didn't pay i'm like you're gonna have to pay like you can't just go up on the train station without paying like you wouldn't want somebody to go into your business do stuff without um paying and things so i'm like you're gonna have to either pay or you're gonna have to call somebody do something to have a, a bird fly by send you some money or something i don't know but you can't get beyond this point i'm sorry called over another cop and i'm like okay we ain't moving so we're gonna stand here lock arms but it's like you can't get beyond this point all right there's like my thing is it's like there's so many different situations and there's ways to handle that and i know people are gonna be all like if and i know people are questioning me they're like you will really break like a person's arm if they were resisting arrest i would rather do that than to shoot and kill them if I was a cop, I'm not going to shoot and kill the person, but I will let them know, like, like you need to chill out, okay? Like, they ain't that serious. Like, if you got some stuff in your history that you don't, that you don't want us to know about or you got past with police officers, you shouldn't be out here living reckless. Like, that's what I'm all like. That's like, you can't be out here, like, if you've been arrested or you've been arrested numerous times, like, yeah, you can't be out here living reckless. Just with the, um... I don't know how, um, how, how that situation overall ended, but the shooting that happened in Seattle not too long ago. It's like, it's guys like that where I'm all like, you have, and they said the, the between the two guys that was on the run, because I think, yeah, they said they caught them over out in Vegas and stuff. Um, yeah, I would, they said that I think the one guy, oh no, both of the guys, they've been like both arrested over like 70 times and they're the same age as me. I'm 23 years old, so that means it's something. they've been arrested like quite a few times each year since they can be tried as an adult. I'm like, man, that's crazy. That is crazy. I'm like, I don't understand that type of behavior. And then you go out and get into a shootout in the um, middle of the... It was... Well, no, I think it because, yeah, it was like 5 o'clock, so it was like getting dark outside, but still, like somewhat in the middle of the day and things like a little bit in the evening it's like in a busy area okay like you get into a shootout in a busy area of seattle like it was yeah it's crazy how people be like acting and stuff and it's like this then so you go on this like uh like on the run and things like yeah it's like don't don't expect a cop to be acting crazy towards you you went out they shot the yeah they shot a kid they killed the woman shot a few other people and I'm like, yeah, that's just like, yeah, don't, can't be like, you expect that a cop to like show you any sympathy and things. You better be walking out there and stuff like letting them know, like, I'm done. Like, I, I'm not going to do anything. But yeah, it's like you over here putting up a fight. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's like a cop shooting you. The, the, yeah, that cop just doesn't know how to be a cop and things. But if it was me, yeah, I'm like laying on top of you. Like, that's what it's like. Cops need to learn like some like fighting moves and stuff. Like, they need to learn some things before. And like I said, they need to probably add that into training. Um, Like, put like having like arresting a person and things. Like, because I don't know whether a cop, he gets tired and he's like, I can't handle it. Like, I'm all out of breath and I'm winded. Yeah, cops, they, yeah, you need to be working out or, uh, yeah, be in a training where it's like you need to handle that situation. And I know it's like they need to be doing that, like, all the time, learning new ways to, um, to like, bring a suspect down and stuff. And, like, whether they have a weapon, whether they don't have a weapon, they need to learn. Because it's like you, it's like a anything is possible. So that's why I'm like, yeah, you, you don't go into a situation where it's just like, oh, I'm just going to shoot. 
Because then you're going to be that cop that's on TV being talked about. And they're going to show your name, show your face. Because they're not going to hold um, the news um, and everybody, the media, they're not going to hold back. Then all your personal information is going to be out there. Then you have a choice whether to resign. And then if you if the thing gets sent to prison and stuff, or it gets sent to a court, and it's like, then you're going to have to be dealing with something like that. And then if you're found not guilty and stuff, then yeah, it's like, that's why it's like, yeah, it's situations like that where it's just, you know, you you need to like think about everything before you actually take actions and stuff. Me, I'm a thinker. So that's why I'm like, I got to think about my stuff before I go out and do something and things. But anyways, um, yeah, at the end of the day, like, you know, we, we can't exclude people out. Like we, we got to We got to like learn to just be respectful and love one another and stuff. So anyways, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for uh, um, listening. Yeah. If you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service. Follow or subscribe, YouTube, like, subscribe, however, y'all know the Seat Geek deal. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give my uh, my whole opinion on all that stuff. So talk to y'all later. Peace.